Good morning. Happy Friday. B students, this is an important message for B students. Please bring everything home with you that you're going to need for the next two weeks. Two weeks, B students. Yes. As you guys know, um, B students, you won't be here next week. Our A students are Monday and Tuesday. Uh, B students, you will be uh, virtual during those two days. And then the week after Thanksgiving break, we are fully virtual as a building, but we will see everyone back um, in our hybrid December 7th. Wow. All right, B students, that's you. Thank you, thank you, thank you to the Menominee Falls Police Association and our very own Officer Kravinsky for your very generous donation to the Giving Tree. To the Giving Tree, did you know that the cash donations are also a way that you can help the Giving Tree? Did you know that? No, yes, I, I did, I did. Because if you donate that, we've got some elves, very helpful elves that will go out and go shopping and get the wishes from the Giving Tree. So keep on, keep on going with that. That is awesome. We have, we have just been nothing but grateful for everyone who's participated so far. So we do owe a big thanks to our spectacular staff members and our friends at uh, Lesla Therapy who have made generous donations. So thank you for the wonderful partnerships and helping make this holiday season great uh, for so many. Our North Stars are shining bright. Ooh, nice. <laughs> Jazz hands for bright, shiny stars. As we continue to honor our Native American history, did you know that centuries ago, Native Americans developed a process in which cactus-eating insects could be turned into red dye? What's that red dye called? I don't know. What do you think it's called, Mr. Gavauer? I don't know. Blood. We'll, we'll, put it in the, we'll put it in the announcements and so everyone can see for themselves. Okay. This Indian dye became one of the most important experts from the New World in the late 16th century. This red dye was highly valued by the European cloth industry for hundreds of years and was used to dye the red British uniforms in the American Revolution. Red hey, that will, sorry. Uh, no, go on. It's your very turn. neat, very interesting. I was just very excited too because we do have a special guest here today. Um, with some very important North Middle School Library Media Center updates. Michelle Ayer, take it away. Woo. Well, hello. So I know it's not the end of the month yet, but I am doing the drawing for our gratitude library bingo because I wanted to make sure that our winner had a chance to get their gift card before Thanksgiving break because it's a pick and save gift card for food. And if you want to be cooking, you need your dollars. So our winner of, God, it was really cool today. Our winner of library bingo gratitude edition is drum roll. Thomas Nygaard, our eighth grade. All right, representing eighth grade. So Thomas, I'm gonna find you tomorrow. I looked you up, I know you're a B student. I'm gonna personally deliver this to you in front of the whole class because I know eighth graders aren't too cool for that. So good job, Thomas. Now, because we cut this one a little short, I am going to put our Library Bingo Winter Wonderland edition up tomorrow after school. So that will be live on the library website. Today? So today, today, today. That's totally what I meant. I know today, today is cool. after school. That's fine. Um, so there is tons of cool stuff. You guys can learn all about winter activities. There's, oh my gosh, there's so much stuff. I'm gonna actually do it myself this time. One more thing. So we're doing a little new thing before winter break. We are going to do a little promotion to get you guys to return your overdue books because some of us have some books that were checked out maybe September that we're maybe just forgetting to bring back. So if you bring in all your overdue books, I have this giant candy jar. You will get a chance to guess how many candies are in the jar and I will pick the winner. Well, I'm not going to pick a winner. You guys really do by guessing the correct amount of candy. And I'm going to announce the winner before winter break and you get the whole jar of candy. You can only guess if you have all your overdue books returned. 
So these will be all around the school to remind you, start looking for those books that maybe are under your bed or in your dog's bed or at your great, great grandma's house. I've heard it all. Go find them. Thank you very much for sharing there. The LMC is rocking with you in there. Bye. Okay, bye guys. <laughs> Our ACT vocab word of the day is pliable. Receptive to change or easily bent. This paper is pliable. As the students worked with clay, it became pliable enough to mold into bowls, mugs, and bases. Interesting. Students, please prepare for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance is to the flag, flag of the United, of the United States, States of America, America and to the republic which it stands, stands one nation, one nation under, God, under God, indivisible, indivisible liberty, justice. and justice for all. North Stars, make it an amazing day. Have a safe weekend. We will see a students back here on Monday. Happy Friday. Have a good weekend.